Hey you absolute legends, it's Rick Carson. We're at the beautiful Make Believe Studios. The next thing that we compared was the channel compressor. And the channel compressor was very different than the channel compressor on the desk. One, it's at a two to one ratio with a 300 millisecond release time, which we set up to match on the console. It's just not the same when it comes to the makeup gain circuit. We had to do a lot more makeup gain to match them where the one on the desk actually makes things just a little bit louder every time, where this one you had to turn things up with the fader a little bit. So besides the sonic difference, is there was a workflow difference as well. The next thing that we compared was the bus compressor. The bus compressor was hands down the closest sounding thing on the big six to the actual console. You, we, you know, when you listen to it on this kick drum, you can see that it's not that different. The big six, if you have it on auto release, actually sounds closer to the SSL on the 0.1 setting than the auto setting. So very interesting to compare that thing. Definitely the closest thing in the big six to this console. Very interesting to compare the two bus compressors. That was hands down the closest thing from the big six to this console here. The next thing that we compared was the listen mic compressor. And it's interesting because on this console, you have the ability to drive into the listen mic compressor using the listen control at the top of the desk in the master section, where on the big six, it seemed like you were all the way in no matter what you did. And then you had the ability to turn down the output where the only way I really have the ability to turn on the output is to patch it. It didn't really make a difference because the listen mic compressor was very, very far off. The listen mic compressor on the SSL is a constant thing where every hit is distorted and loud in the same way. Where the listen mic compressor on the Big Six was a very hard hit for the first hit, and then you could hear it gradually going down, and you could see it very clearly in the waveform, where it was just clamping down and getting quieter as the signal went on. I definitely think it could be cool for lots of stuff, and we may, you know, have been hitting it too hard. I don't think that we were because, you know, we tested it. It was interesting on this kick drum. It did not sound like the SSL. So take that for what it is. Listen to these. See if you can pick out which one's which. And we will get back to you with some winners.